YouTube, welcome back for round two of Unboxing Magic the Gathering. This time we are unboxing a whole booster box of Ikoria Layer of Behemoths. Now, I've been debating whether I was going to do this or not, and I really was leaning against it because I was interested in more standard stack deck builds, but I don't know. It makes a good point that if you... My friend Geiger made a good point that if you just find what you're interested in you can go buy the duplicates triplicates or quadruplicates that you need as individuals from your local game store as well so i think he has a valid point there and i don't have any themes of what i want to play yet deck style wise i've been tinkering around in arena and getting my ass handed to me and i got my friend from work sean who bought a box of this got a few decks for arena out of this and is already like gold tier in arena and i can't get past bronze tier three so uh shame on me for not knowing what the hell i'm doing after all these years but <laughs> without further ado this is gonna be my first time ever opening up a full booster box when i was young the money just was never there this was a fantasy my childhood days would involve walking to meyer which was a better part of a mile buying a 30 cent 33 cent pop forget what the hell the brand was on that it was a little local brand and buy an a booster back of magic cards and walking home looking at each of the cards and just scrutinizing every single detail of that frank chris and i did that more times than i can count fond memories all right so foil is off this baby is now open I've seen this get all fancifully opened and shit, so uh, we're going to try this, but uh, I make zero promises because I am not a gentle human being. Uh, we're already, oh, see, ripping the package. Okay. <laughs> Box topper. I'm looking forward to that. Come on. Be nice to me. Yes! Ha! Minimal damage. Duh. Sweet. Alright. So, let's start off with this fun right here. This is the Ikoria box topper. Sealed product, not for resale. This feels like a single card and it makes me scared to damage it. Oh, and it opened right up. Don't you love it? Oh, shine. Oh, Geiger, you're going to hate me. <laughs> oh, Geiger's been bitching for days now about getting this damn thing. He even told me when I go buy this box to get it for him. And lo and fucking behold, there it is. Mothra, Supersonic Queen. Mythic Rare, Holographic, Fantastic Artwork. Flying creature insect, flying insect. Whenever a creature you control without flying dies, return it to the battlefield under its owner's control with a flying counter on it. <laughs> Damn! Okay, I like you. I like you a lot. You can be jelly all you want, Geiger. This is me. This is all me. You got to fight me for this one. <laughs> this is gonna sit right here. <laughs> Oh, and that being said, this is going to be a good opening. I'm going to enjoy it just because that happened. This first one feels really bubbly, like air in it or something. Not to be all water damage or some shit. And here we go. Oh, sweet. I definitely can use those. That's awesome. I will take those. Planes. Alright, my rare... Oh, I forgot they did them backwards in this one. The rares are in the front. This is going to be funky. Luthri the Spell Chaser. Rare card. Cost of three. Legendary creature. Elemental Otter. Companion. Each non-land card in your starting deck has a different name. I, I, got, I don't understand a damn thing about companions. I'll have to look into that. Okay. Uh, Savai Crystal, Weaponize the Monsters, oh that all artwork is sweet, Necro Panther, Creature Cat Nightmare, well, 
That might start working with the nightmares that I'm looking for from the other cards in my last video. Uh, Shredded Sails, Moss Coat and Goriak, Capture Sphere, Checkpoint Officer, Frost Lynx, Startling Development, Durable Coil Bug. I thought that said Fart Finder for a second. <laughs> Fart Finder, Forbidden Friendship, and Blood Curdle. Alright, not a bad beginning. I'm just still excited about the Mothra. Uh, uh, you're going to be so salty. I can't wait to hear about that. And the texts are going to blow up. This man texts me like 20 texts at a time, and it's going to be like 50 when this happens. <laughs> and I'm not going to tell him until he sees this video, too. That's just going to make it better. All right, a token creature. Dinosaur beast with star star trample. Interesting. Ooh, a dual colored land for red or green. Those are always nice. And the bonus of a plus one life. All right. Rare card, Everquill Phoenix. Mutate three. Nice. I'm ripping through these a little bit right now because I know we got 36 to get through, so I'm going to pop off names and go. Rogarin Crystal, Avoid Beckoner, Dire Tactics, Flycatcher, Graphid, Mysterious Egg, Adventurous Impulse, Checkpoint Officer, Keep Safe, that's always a nice one, Plummet, Imposing Vantasaur, Blood Curdle, Bushmeat Poacher, and Dranath Stinger. Hmm. Cool. Cool, cool. Alright. I got my phone trying to upload the first video I just recorded as I'm doing the second because I'm pretty much doing them back to back. So it's a good phone, but we'll see if it dies or not. Okay, another token creature, human soldier right there. Always a benefit. I like my tokens. Another land. Oh, look at that. That's a mythic rare. Eluna Apex of Wishes. Oh, man, that imagery is sick. Legendary creature, beast elemental dinosaur with a mutate cost, flying and trample. Whenever this creature mutates, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land permanent card. Put that card into the battlefield or into your hand. For a cost of five, you gotta play three colors, mind you, but damn. Okay. Uh, that's going to go right next to Mothra because that's epic. And it's a mythic rare, and that's a great start. And is that a rare on top of it? That is. I, I, I Damn, they gave me a holographic mythic rare and a rare in the same pack. I know this rare is not worth much, but I ain't worried about value. I'm not planning on reselling. Frondland Felidar. The only reason I know that is because I'm pretty sure I've seen this one in a Tolarian video when he was doing one of his box games. All right. Um, Mystic Subduel. Unbreakable Bond. Heartless Act, Mysterious Egg, Honey Mammoth, that's cool art, Helica Glider, Crustacean, Maned Cerval, Cerval, Startling Development, Bushmeat Poacher again, Day Squad Marshal, and Frenzied Raptor. Awesome, 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 awesome. And we got plenty of cards to go. Oh my god, this is going to take a minute. I see why these are hour-long videos, Geiger. Alright. Token Creature, Dinosaur, Haste 1-1. Another two land land for red or green. I'll just leave that there. Nah. Alright, my rare card in this pack. It's a Gem Razor, Creature Beast with a Mutate 1, Reach and Trample, 4-4. Four, four. That's not bad. Lead the Stampede. Polywog Symbiote. That makes me think of Pokemon with the Polywags. Clash of Titans. Nice. Evolving Wilds. I might want to use that for... I'm thinking about doing a five-color five, five color deck, actually. Just be absolutely crazy. Uh, Brian Selden did one way back in the day, and he smoked the crap out of everybody with it. Helico Glider again. Frost Veil Ambush. Blazing Volley. Divine Arrow. Cloud Piercer, Dead Weight. Ooh, Pacifism. Geiger's favorite card. No, I actually really like Pacifisms. It's just I don't have any in Arena. And I'm trying to figure out how the hell that is the case. I've got like three or four of them 
from old ass decks, and if I understand correctly, you can play older cards as long as a, a reprinted version of that card is playing in a current edition. And if that's the case, I've got a lot of weaponry that I can use from way back in the day. Okay, this is an emblem, Narset of the Ancient Way. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, this emblem emblem deals two damage to any target. I don't know what that would be used for or why I have it. Interesting. And Jungle Hollow. We'll gain one life, black or green, that's cool. Boom! Mythic Rare again! How about that? Brokos Apex of Forever. Mutate 2, Trample... Mutate 2 plus 3. Trample you may cast from the graveyard using its mutate ability. That's sweet. And another good argument for making a 5 color deck right there. Damn. Okay. Another mythic rare going off to the side over there. Lining them up. Lining them up. Escape protocol. Easy prey. Sonorous howl bonder. Tentative connection. Moscow goriak. Dranath Healer, Hampering Snare, Divine Arrow, Convolute, Memory Leak, Excavation Mole, <laughs> that is cool, <laughs> Heightened Reflexes, and Night Squad Commando. Oh, it's going to take me hours to look through all these today. It's going to be worth it, though. I'm just showing off what I got real quick and being excited when I catch the big boys. And I hadn't, I started to inventory my old cards and it got really tedious while well typing it in, but if I can get like a desktop version of that card inventory system, I think I'm going to type them all in, because typing them on the damn phone sucks. Alright, another MTG advertisement. I'm waiting for there to be one of those that's got an actual code on so I get an arena card deck. Basic land. Holographic Zagoth Mamba. 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 I are white. <laughs> God, that's kind of pretty. Um, rare card, Skycat Sovereign, a white-blue flying creature elemental cat. Nice. Lead the Stampede, got one of those already. Avian Oddity, Blitz of the Thunder Raptor, Springjaw Trap, Sudden Spinnerets, Convolute, Gust of Wind, Garrison Cat. Oh, the artwork on these is so cool. I love it. And it's got a mutate function. So, definitely interested in checking out more of the mutate function. I watched like an hour long video the other day about how mutate is just the most complex damn mechanic ever introduced to magic. Lurking Dead Eye, Rumbling Rock Slide, and Dead Weight. Nice. So I am not going to be sleeving or bindering any of my cards. Anything that I don't end up putting into decks is going to sit off to the side. Or get something I organized in box and probably the big box that came with the the bulk pack that I just got from Theros. And look, another no code advertisement. Another swamp. Ooh, another holographic. Hampering snare. Instant one one. It's pretty. Rare card on this one is a Dranith Magistrate. That would be kind of nice against a couple decks I've played against. Okay, Ivy Elemental, Channeled Force, Flame Spill, Ram Through, Bully Grown, Gust of Wind, Anticipate, Solid Footing, Gloom Pagolin, Dranith Stinger. Mutual Destruction, and another sweet-ass artwork. I don't care if it's in a common, man. That's fucking awesome-looking. Migratory Great Horn. Ah, they need to do this kind of thing more often, because that is so cool to look at. So cool. Oh, look at how many cards we still got left. I think, um... One, two, three, four. This is number seven? Oh, God. <laughs> We're in for it. Especially when I can't open the damn things. Beer 30 real quick. Alright. More of these funky token thingies, which is always nice to have. I got spoiled playing it on the, on the computer. 
where it's all automatically tracking. And another mythic rare. There we go. Fiend Artisan. Creature Nightmare. Hey, that's even going to tie in. I am going to be rocking a five-color Nightmare deck, and that's just all there is to it. It's going to be a mofo. Oh, look at this thing. Look at it. Will you just look at it? Oh, my God. Look at it. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> Uh, all right, two Mythic Rares in the box plus, no, three Mythic Rares in the box plus Mothra already, and I'm only eight packs deep. Uh, we're going to have a good day today. Uh, Sanctuary Lockdown, Cunning Night Bonder, that's a cool double color artwork. I like that. And another awesome artwork, Auspicious Steric, Starix, nice, Mutate. Thwart the Enemy, Tentative Connection, Blazing Volley, Anticipate Again, Divine Arrow, of one mind, that is beautiful. Day Squad Marshal. Pice Pyroceratops. That's Dinosaur of Your Nightmares. <laughs> Another Night Squad Commando. And a Fire Prophecy. Damn, Fire Rebel. Sauron Incarnate. Alright. Oh, man. I want to be back in that pop up camper, Geiger. I really do. This is fucking fun. Okay, you were right. I'm hooked. Uh, token creature flying shark. Got one of those already. Another white or black land. That's sweet. Rare card. Mythos of Snapdex. It's not bad. Played it before in the arena. Barrier Breach. Bastion of Remembrance. Splendor Mare. Flycatcher. Giraffid. Raking Claws. Survivor's Bond. Imposing Vantasaur again. Keep safe. Blazing Volley. Snare Tactician. Another pacifism. Ha 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 ha. Ooh, yes. More artwork. Dinosaur creature with mutate and reach. Of course he's got reach. Look at that neck. Whenever this creature mutates, you may discard a card. If you do, draw a card. That's a pretty damn good common. And then Dark Bargain. Yeah. Okay, I want to start a new pile of cards. You can see that's getting a bit tall over there. Number nine, I think. Okay. Human Soldier. Basic land. Legendary Creature, Elemental Fox. Another dual color. Man, that is like a theme in this deck. Companion. Uh, that's another companion card. Okay. I really, really, really need to look that up. Okay. Uh, another Polywog Symbiote. Unbreakable Bond again. Juliet Skybonder, dual color. Bristling Boar. Suffocating Fumes. Thwart the Enemy. Adaptive Shimmer. Snare Tactician again. Startling Development. Blitz Leech. Dreamtail Heron. Heightened Reflexes again. And Memory Leak. Oh, that is cool artwork. Awesome. Alright, pile two. How many piles will there be by the end? So I'm working on a tripod here that I literally got for free when I asked for a book about going into franchising restaurants. And it's the chintziest damn tripod known to man, but amazingly it's working really well for this, so I can't bitch too much. Alright, another human soldier token. Bloodfell Caves land. I can always use these, especially if I end up running a five color. This land, this kind of land right here is going to be pretty damn invaluable. Alright, here's my rare, Eerie Ultimatum. Return any number of permanent cards with different names from your graveyard to the battlefield? Are you serious? <laughs> I bet you this card's probably worth some money. Because, damn, that's a good ability. Sanctuary Lockdown. Archipelagor. Archipelagor. Levathian creature. Look at that imagery. Oh. Footfall Crater, Suffocating Fumes, Honey Mammoth again, Spontaneous Flight, that's kind of cute. Thieving Otter, Snare Tactician again, Hampering Snare, Forbidden Friendship, Lurking Deadeye, Vulpakeet, nice, and Prickly Marmoset. Well, the phone hasn't crashed yet. That's always a positive. 
All right, another human soldier token. And it's exactly the same as the other one, just different imagery. I'll take it. Another island. Ooh, I got a holographic in the front of this one. A boon of the wish giver. Look at that shiny. Draw four card sorcery. Holy shnikes. That's kind of nice. Solid blue deck would handle that really well. And Kahira the Orphan Guard is my rare legendary creature cat beast. Companion card again. I really got to look this up. I heard something about there can only be one companion per. If that is, I'm kind of screwed. Wingspan Mentor. Alert Heal Bonder. Parcel Beast. Man, the multicolors everywhere. Springjaw Trap. Adventurous Impulse. Anticipate again. Glimmer Bell. Garrison Cat again. Boot Nipper. Lava Serpent. Farfinder. And Blitzleech again. See the struggle. Like you gotta get in this little neck. You see that? Ugh. No nails. That's tough as hell. Okay. Another token creature. That's kind of the standard here. 3-3 three, three beast. Basic mountain. And Slither Wisp as my nightmare elemental rare card. Got flash. Interesting. Multicolor again. Hornbash Mentor, Duskfang Mentor, nice artwork, Chittering Harvester, and it's a Mutate. Man, yeah, multicolor Mutate deck might be happening here. Um, we could be beastly with that, or I could have the biggest pile of shit known to man, but I'll play with it once I get through all this. i got to see how many multicolor cards I legitimately have and how many it just feels like I'm scoring right now. Essence Scatter, Frenzied Raptor. i got to also figure out, if you guys know the best way to be able to determine what cards you have from previous editions that are no longer standard but are being reprinted in standard versions and therefore can be played, let me know. Because I have well over a thousand cards and I have no idea how many of them are legitimately usable for standard format. I never gave a shit about format in the past. I just, I'd mix stuff together. I was playing 7th edition shit with M15 when it was brand spanking new. So, I don't know. Alright, human soldier token again. Another two color land, always nice. And my rare, Umori the Collector, legendary creature ooze, another companion card. Okay, I've seen that. Uh, Zagoth Crystal, Frillscare Mentor, Channeled Force. Hmm. Shredded Sails, Adventurous Impulse, Springjaw Trap again, Frost Length, Lynx, Length, Light of Hope, Adaptive Shimmer again, Wingfold Terran, Essence Symbiote, Cathartic Reunion, and another Boot Nipper. Ooh. It's beer 30 again. Oh, man. Not even halfway, guys. Holy shit, what did I get myself into? See, impossible. There we go. Okay. See, I start talking shit about it, and it starts opening up. Apparently, it's got to be mean. Sweet. Third one's charm. And I got another one of the good lands. I got a pretty good smattering. Alright. Quartz good crasher. Quartz wood crasher. My rare creature dinosaur beast card. Yes, I like it. Monstrous... What? <laughs> plus seven, plus seven. Until end of turn. Up to one other target creature blocks this turn if able. Oh. Damn. And Dathic crystal... Oh, nice artwork. Pouncing Shore Shark. That looks like something straight out of the 80s. And is a mutate. With Flash. Cool. Spell Eater Wolverine. Wilt. Suffocating Fumes again. Plummet. Crustacean. Perimeter Sergeant. Capture Sphere. Fire Prophecy again. Memory Leak again. Nice. Migratory Great Horn. Come on, focus. That's cool. And it's another mutate.
Bullshit ad. Blossoming Sands, another dual color. My rare extinction event. Choose odd or even. Exile each creature with converted mana cost of the chosen value, with the zero being even. Huh. That's kind of nice. Just want to fuck with the world a little bit. Titan on Rex. 11, 11 with trample for a cost of 9. I used to have, I still have, an avatar of might. Cost 8. And was only an 8, 8 with trample and no other functions. And look at how many other abilities this has for 9. Man, the game has changed. Avian Oddity. It's not a bad thing. Splendor Mare. Lifelink with a 3, 3. Awesome. Fully grown. And it gets a trample counter. Permanent trample, trample counter. Unlikely Aid. Almighty Brushwag. Imposing Vantasaur again. Convolute. Gust of Wind. Rumbling Rock Slide. Dead Weight. Day Squad Marshal. And Pyroceratops again. Sweet. Uh, see Geiger? My fiance is not into this like your girlfriend is, so I get all the openings to myself. But it would be kind of cool to have somebody at home to play with. Haste 1 1 token creature dinosaur. Basic swamp. Ooh, pretty holographic. Dreamtail heron. Okay. Ooh, rare land. These are expensive. I've seen this. Tap add any of three colors. This is like a $20 rare if I know that correctly, if I remember correctly. Rogren Triome. Yes, 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 yes. This is going in my land section. Sweet. Swallow Hole. Ominous Seas. Back for more. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Greater Sandworm. Unexpected Fangs. Blade Banish. Gust of Wind. Coordinated Charge. Dark Bargain. Ferocious Tiger Rilla. What the flying hell is that? Patagia Tiger? And Serrated Scorpion. Cool. We're maybe getting to halfway point. Maybe. Oh, I actually got that one to rip. That's the way they're supposed to open. Alright, another token creature. Another land. Another holographic land. That's always cool. And a rare Mythos of Luna. Create a token to copy a target permanent if... Except the toga token has one that's permanent enters the battlefield of its creature if it's up to one target creature. That's not bad. Not bad. Swallow the Hole. Rooting Moloch. Dire Tactics. Nice. Spontaneous Slide again. Bristling Boar. Aegis Turtle. Glimmer Bell. Imposing Vanus. So I got a whole bunch of those. Night Squad Commando, so my third of that. Vulpaki, at least two of those. Go for Blood. And Dark Bargain again. Different artwork, though. Different edition. Cool. Well, I think value-wise, I'm probably going to come out damn close to breaking even just off of the Mythics in that one land, because, yeah. I mean, not that I legitimately care that much. It's just cool curiosity for me because I'll never sell any of these and I'll never chase after buying more just because of value. Spite Dragon. Sprite Dragon. Dual color flying haste. This is a perfect addition for a multicolored deck. Sweet. I'm gonna keep one out. Myth of Brokos again. Mythos of Brokos again. Okay. Sweet. So I got a couple of those. Momentum Rumbler. Sonorous Howl Binder. Nice artwork. Porky Parrot, that's kind of frightening, honestly. Mutate. Nice, I like it. Tentative Connection. Flycatcher, Giraffid. Garrison Cat. Blazing Volley, Anticipate. Divine Arrow. Night Squad Commando again, that's four. Third Fire Prophecy. Blitz Leech, that's at least my third, I think. Alright. Oh, we got another good rip. Look at that. I'm starting to get the hang of this halfway through everything. 
Human Soldier. Another dual land. Always good. Oh, I know it's only a rare, but look at that imagery for the Cub Warden right there. Mutate, lifelink, and tokens with life. Oh, yes, yes, please. Stormwind, Capridor, Zenith Flare, Lore, Dracus. Tentative Connection again, Almighty Bushwag, Whisper Squad, Blister Split. Blister Spit and Gremlin. Blech. One of Mind. Dranith Healer. Aegis Turtle again. Farfinder again. Prickly Marmoset and Blitzleech. Okay. Blitzleech is like very commonly the last card in the, in the booster pack. Yeah, there's that skill. I got, I'm getting that talent now. Dinosaur. Mountain. And then another Emergent Ultimatum. I am all about this card. I like it. It's going to be a, a good one to use. Uh, Flourishing Fox. Weaponize the Monsters. Skull Prophet. Wow. Okay, that is a really nice 1-3-1 one, one uncommon. Uh, Greater Sandworm, Raking Claws, Fertilid, Blade Banish, Aegis Turtle again, Solid Footing, Prickly Marmoset, so these are good in common. Durable Coil Bug, Dreamtail Heron again, I got a hollow of that already. Frenzied Raptor. Alright, Pile 3 starts. That's totally random. Okay. It's like WTF, mate. Oh, look at this companion. As each game begins, you can place one card in compa with companion here. If your starting deck meets its condition, you may cast it once from here. I don't know what that means, but we're going to put it off to the side because it's nice and pretty, and I know I'm probably going to want to use it eventually. Boom! Mythic Rare! Aluna, Apex of Wishes. Legendary Creature, Beast, Elemental, Dinosaur. Mutate cost. Flying, Trample, 6-6. Six, six. Whenever this creature mutates, exile a card from the top of your library. Until you exile a non-land permanent card, put the card into the battlefield or into your hand. Why do I feel like I've already seen this card? Because I have. Look at that shit. I have two copies. One of each artwork, and this one's hollow. Okay, I uh, I need to make sure that I'm allowed to have two legendary rares in the same deck, but if I am, this is going to be a absolutely beastly deck. And that, including the box topper, is now legendary number five. I mean, legendary, god damn it. Mythic rare number five. <laughs> That's sweet. All right, wingspan mentor. Void beckoner. Trumpeting gnar. Springjaw Trap again, Greater Sandworm, Bristling Boar, Of One Mind, Adaptive Shimmerer, Snare Tactician, Startling Development, Dreamtail Heron, Heightened Reflexes, and Memory Lake. Okay, pretty much all of those cards were familiar to me, so I think we're starting to uh, exhaust the majority of the common and uncommon groupings here. I'm fighting in a, a power cord charge on my phone on the right hand side because I didn't have enough juice to be able to do all of this, and so it's kind of awkward to be flipping around that damn thing. Human Soldier, token creature. Another dual land, always nice. Crystalline Giant. I found out that this card's worth, like, fuck all, like, 17 cents or something like that. It's really cheap. But I really like it just because it's got some cool-ass abilities. It might be legitimately useless when you try to actually implement it in battle, but it's just fun to have all of this available. And it's like, how do you even randomly choose which one you're supposed to fire first? Okay. Reptilian Reflection, Neutralize, Back for More, Humble Naturalist, Evolving Wilds, another land card to send off to the side, uh, Savai Sabretooth, Frost Length, Length, I did it again, Frost Links, Adaptive Shimmer again, Solid Footing, Migratory Great Horn, Cathartic Reunion, Serrated Scorpion, and another Fire Prophecy. Okay, so... These I used to use in a green deck that I was like, I needed to be super mana heavy in a green deck, and I fired them off all the time and just destroyed people with it because I could get eight lands out in 
very few turns with some of the other cards I had in there too. But I think this also would be really strategic for using in a five color deck because if I've only got a couple land color cards out, I could put this out and immediately shuffle in, I mean, sort, find, and put in exactly the land that I need. So. I will not complain about that. I wasn't even thinking about doing a five color deck when I first sat down to go into this, but after opening up so many of these cards, it's like the logical conclusion at this point. All right, again, another bullshit ad. Give me a code, man. Give me a code. Also, the decks I've seen come out of these codes are sweet. Another dual color land. My rare, Mythos of Nethroi. Instant, destroyed non target non-permanent land, non land permanent if it's a creature or if green and white was spent to cast a spell. Hmm, that could be useful. Reconnaissance mission. Zagoth Mamba. Not Mamba. Huntmaster Liger. Really, we got a Liger in magic? Oh, I'm sorry, this is not Napoleon Dynamite. Evolving Wilds, another one. Sweet, I'll take it. Humble Naturalist again. Fully grown. Crustacean. Draineth Healer. Glimmer Bell, Coordinated Charge, Cavern Whisperer, Patagia Tiger, and another Pyroceratops. All right. I think we're down to, like, the last three layers. And well, that's still nine packs. Watch it be, like, four layers and there's 12 packs there. Probably is. I can't tell. I got a whole bunch of wrappers over here. Off to the side. Human Soldier Token. Sweet. Tranquil Cove. I got tons of these from way back when... Uh, rare card, Bonders Enclave. It's a land that gives me that. I wonder if that means any color. That would be too nice. That would be way too nice. Maybe it's a colorless color? Colorless lamp? Colorless mono? Excuse me. Maybe? I don't know. It's going off to the side. And an artifact for the cost of three that pays me three different monotypes. The Zagoth Crystal. I have a couple of those. I didn't look at what I did. Hmm. Might have to include that. Heartless Act, Jubilant Skybonder, Raking Claws, Wilt, Unlikely Aid, Another Frost Links, Light of Hope, Adaptive Shimmer, Essence Symbiote, Cathartic Reunion, Boot Nipper, and Dark Bargain. Alrighty. Alrighty then. Uh, blows my mind that Sonic ended up not being a bad movie from all the reviews I'm hearing. I mean, I love Jim Carrey, but I mean, when that first started rolling out, that was frightening and what they were trying to do. So we always take more of those. Basic Island. Ooh, Holographic. Frost Veil Ambush. Pretty. My rare card, Karuga the Macro Sage. Legendary Creature Dinosaur Hippo. Another companion card. Multicolor. Okay. Sweet. Keen Sight Mentor. Migration Path. Proud one wild bonder. Fully grown, unexpected fangs. Facet reader, thieving otter. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> Light of hope again. That's a nice card. That's just a really nice quick card. Nice imagery. Dreamtail heron again. So I have a hollow of this card. I have alternate imagery of this card, and I think I have two copies of the original. So I mean, we're gonna be rocking this in the, in, in a deck somewhere for sure. Lurking Deadeye, Draineth Stinger again, and Blood Curdle, that's the first time I've seen that one. Put a Menace Counter on a creature you control. That's <laughs> sweet. Cool. So still sitting at five Mythic Rares right now, but I've still got several packs to open, so we're not done yet. I'm getting up to the 40 minute mark too. Human Soldier, dual color land, always nice. And another hollow, and it's a Vulpakeet, which makes me think of two different Pokemon at the same time. <laughs> okay, what do we got behind that? Titan's Nest, Enchantment, at the beginning of your upkeep, look at the top card of your library, and we put that into the graveyard, exile card from the graveyard, add. Okay, I really need to figure out what that monotype is right there. Uh, somebody's got to know. Geiger, explain to me when we play Arena later tonight, because I have a good feeling that's what we're going to be doing. Momentum Rumbler, General's Enforcer, Porky Parrot again, Shredded Sails, Survivor's Bond, Sleeper Dart, Thieving Otter again, Main Serval, Serrated Scorpion again, Essence Scatter, Ferocious Tigerilla, and a Corpse Churn. I don't think I've seen that one yet. 
That's cool looking. That imagery is sweet. Okay. God, I can't wait to get some decks built out of this. This is going to be exciting. I feel like I'm 12. And you know what? That's totally okay. Do what you want. Ain't hurting nobody. Boom. All right. Oh, that was not right. Island. Rare card here. Legendary creature, bird serpent, Yorian Sky Nomad. Another companion card. All right, I got to really figure out companions. Will of the All Hunter. Ominous Seas. Blitz of the Thunder Raptor. Adventurous Impulse. Humble Naturalist. Spell Eater Wolverine. Wingfold Terran. Blade Banish. Gust of Wind. Coordinated Charge. Ferocious Tigerilla again. Patagia Tiger. And Serrated Scorpion. Cool. Uh. I'm really scared if I bump this tripod that one of the legs is going to fall off again because it's already happened once. Oh, I couldn't get the rip. I failed. Failed horribly. Wow, I can't get this to fall. There we go. And I'm just throwing the whole pack. Watch it be like a super epic rare. Mythic rare and a busted or some shit. Human soldier. Dual color land. Classification. Enchanted creature when it enters the battlefield. Oh my god. Enchanted creature gets plus 20 plus 20. Wow. So you attack with the creature, tap it when they, during the attack, play this card at the end of your turn, and smoke the shit out of them the next turn. That is a beast. Nice. Will of the All Hunter again, Savai Crystal. Ooh, this is a different one. It's got different lands that it pays out. Okay, okay, okay. Insatiable Hemophage, Unlikely Aid, Ram Through, Almighty Brushwag, Hampering Snare, Savai Sabretooth, Wingfold Terran again. Another pacifism. That's three of them now. Go for Blood and Mutual Destruction and Evacuation Mole. Make a white deck and just put all the pacifisms in it. Just a spite dagger. I am totally name dropping the shit out of you, dude, just because you're the whole reason I'm doing this right now, so eat it. <laughs> okay. Human Soldier Token. Another dual color land, Dismal Backwater. Kogla the Titan Ape. This is like playing on. What's his face? Legendary creature ape. When Koga the Titan Ape enters the battlefield, it fights up to one and target creature you don't control. Up to one. Gonna fight a half a creature? I mean, come on. Wow. Okay, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Boon of the Wish Giver. Draw four cards. That's sweet. Primal Empathy. Oh, look at that artwork. Regal Leosaur. Dinosaur Cat with Mutate. That's cool. Greater Sandworm. Fertilid. Sleeper Dart. Frost Veil. Ambush. Checkpoint Officer. Wingfold Terran. Lava Serpent. Mutual Destruction. Essence Symbiote. And Forbidden Friendship. Ooh, they got the rip back. Failed on a couple of them, but I got it back. Another shark. Token creature shark. This makes me really want the, uh, the, I don't know if it's a rare or a mythic rare, but it's the shark NATO, basically. Shark cyclone or something like that. I have it in arena. Wind scarred crag. Nice. Skycat sovereign. It's a holographic rare card. Creature elemental cat. Flying. Dual color, gets plus one, plus one for each other creature you control with flying. And I can pay four to create a one one white cat bird creature token with flying. That's beastly. God, I like that card. And then Mythos of Vadrock as my regular rare. So two rares in this pack, that's always nice. Deals five damage as you choose. Okay, nice. Always a good thing. Valiant Rescuer. Alert Heed Bonder, Frill Scare Mentor, Survivor's Bond, Mysterious Egg. 
That's kind of nice. Keep safe again. Light of hope again. Phase dolphin. I have not seen that one yet. Sweet. Go for blood. Vac vac excavational. Look at that imagery. Cavern whisperer. Nightmare creature. Nightmares. Mutate. Yes. And menace. Okay, that's definitely going in my deck. Rumbling rock slide. Like I'm, I'm formulating this five color mutate nightmare deck while I'm building these cards. And this is going to be either a train wreck or an absolute beast. I'm not sure yet. i got to really feel out how many cards I legitimately have. All right. Dinosaur token, basic land. Woohoo. Ooh, there's another mythic rare. Winota, joiner of forces. Whenever a non-human creature you control attacks, look at the top six cards of your library. You may put a human creature card from among them onto the battlefield tapped and attacking. It gains indestructible until end of turn. Put the rest of the cards on the bottom of your library in a random order. Huh. Yeah. That nice. That puts me up to six. Six mythics. All right. Another crystal, a Ketria crystal. So they cost three to get down, but they do give out a lot of land. And with the cycling on every one of them, they might be worth sticking in the deck as alternatives to mana. I'm not sure yet. Fight is one. Grim Dancer, Unlikely Aid, Wilt. Ram through. It's so hard not to just read these cards as I'm doing it all. Gloom Pangolin. Blade Banish, Of One Mind, Capture Sphere, Durable Coil Bug, Pategia Tiger, and Ferocious Tigerilla again. I think we're down to maybe the last four, guys. Or person, however many actually watch this. And boom! Another Human Soldier Creature Token, Basic Planes, boo! Alright. Holographic dual blossoming sand, I like that. Oh, look at that imagery on that rare. Ragir and Triome, it's a land. And it's another one of the triples. Okay. Serious payoffs in this box. Two Triome lands and six mythic rares. And one of the Triome lands is this crazy artwork, too. I mean, I couldn't ask for better. Seriously. So happy with the way this is going. Okay. Tidenoth Rex. 11-11 with Trample. I've already complained about how awesome this card is. Not complained, but just drooled. Survive Thunder Mane. That's nice. Look at the artwork. The artwork. Trumpeting Gnar again. But creature with mutate, multicolor, and sweet artwork. He's going in the deck. Whisper Squad. Moscow Goriak. Blitter Spit Gremlin. Helica Glider, Facet Reader, Cathartic Reunion, Cavern Whisperer, Day Squad Marshal, and Cloud Piercer. All right. Oh, so much sorting is going to go on here. My butt is going to be numb by the time I get up from this dust. It's a coffee table, but I keep on calling it the dust, and it's whatever. I, just for shit and giggles, I would really like to see that, that shark cyclone thingy. Hard human soldier. Probably won't, but it'd be funny. Mountain. Rare card. Gyruda Doom of Depths. Legendary creature demon Krakens. Companion again. Okay, I am looking up companions first thing as soon as I get done with this. And then I'm looking up all the rules about mutate again. I'm going to watch that stupid hour long video again. Exuberant Wolf Bear. Sprite Dragon again. Auspicious Starix, Sudden Spinnerets, Whisper Squad, Fertilid, Plummet, Perimeter Sergeant, Convolute, Garrison Cat, Bushmeat Poacher, Essence Scatter, and Lava Serpent. Cool. Seriously, still not a code yet. Ten copies of this fucking advertisement. Thornwood Falls, another dual color land suite. Ooh, a holographic rare Yadaro Wandering Monster, a legendary creature dinosaur turtle with trample and haste. Okay, that's pretty. 
My rear card is a Intheta Triome. That's three Triomes. Either I was wrong about the price or I'm just getting really damn lucky. But these are all going to be ridiculously handy. Sweet. All right. Sanctuary Smasher. Charge of the Forever Beast. Majestic Oricorn. Shredded Sails. Sudden Spinnerets. Coordinated Charge. Blister Spit Gremlin. Phase Dolphin. Boot Nipper, Dead Weight, Rumbling Rock Slide, and Pyroceratops. Starting to get these names down really good. And dun 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 dun. We are down to the end. The end of the world. Look at how horribly I had to open this last one. That was an absolute fail. Okay. Hopefully the cards are better than my opening skills. Dinosaur. Another Tranquil Cove. I think I'm already past four of those. And... <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. Shark Typhoon, not Cyclone. Shark Typhoon. There it is. Awesome. So I got multiple shark tokens to use just for this. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> Call of the Death Dweller. Boneyard Lurker. Glowstone Recluse. Spontaneous Flight. Honey Mammoth. Unexpected Fangs. Frostvale vale Ambush. Perimeter Sergeant. Gloom Pangolin. Phase Dolphin. Corpse Churn. Essence Symbio. And Heightened Reflexes. So, in summary, tons of good lands here, including... The Endatha Triome, the Ragurin Triome, and there was a third Triome in here somewhere. Oh, I got a lot more lands than I thought. Ragurin Triome again, boom. Okay, so awesome there. And on top of all these awesome dual color lands, which are going to go great in a five color deck, got all of the six Mythic Rares in this box. Winota, Joiner of Forces. Luna, Apex of Wishes. And just to sweeten the pie on that one, number two on the hollow. Brokos, Apex of Forever. Fiend Artisan, nice. And finally, Mothra, Supersonic Queen. The, I'm sure, envy of Mr. Geiger in the near future. Well, with all that said and done, guys, I'm going to sign off for right now. This is a long-ass video as is. Thank you all for watching, and I am looking forward to playing some cards with you guys in the near future. Peace.